So, uh, hello again. My name is Nils Firma. I'm a CGI artist working mo mostly in Keyshot. So this is going to be another tutorial how you can have a motion blur on a CGI scene. We're going to go over the, to Geometry View. And as you can probably tell, then this whole scene is CGI and it's moving with a ro rotational axis. So, how can you achieve this goal? Um, it's really pretty straightforward. The whole scene, I'm gonna put it into performance mode. This whole scene is um, circle. But if you were to rotate this on its own axis, then it would basically move around this point. So instead, I set a sphere inside of this scene and I selected this whole scene to rotate upon this axis. Uh, the way I could achieve the perfect uh, circle point or midpoint of this uh, scene is to move it like this and scroll away until I can see the perfect curve of this scene. So that way I know that by moving this sphere around that this is perfectly in the dead center and when I go into the animation tab which is this one here then within the properties um, wait 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 in the properties I can select the pivot point the pivot point is going to be the sphere itself so if I were to move it from to another point it would start to rotate on that specific object um, but what I did was I picked a point I selected this sphere I clicked OK I selected the degrees of rotation the axis is going to rotate on and then I just turned it uh, up to a certain point see how much it moves and see if it if the scene moves as well I'm going to put it into geometry mode as well and move it around and I can see that the car here and the cameras are perfectly in place where I want them to be and that the scene is actually rotating on that axis and it's using the sphere as an origin point so that's basically it that's how you can if you have a circular scene or some kind of a moving scene as well then you can use uh, select the sphere put it into the pivot point say pick the object you want you want it to rotate uh, and and move it around see if the circular spot is correct and that's basically it nothing more to it um, so yeah you can try uh, go out and do a trial and error run uh, I have textured this point to look exactly like I want then I have uh, uh, enable motion blur I've taken a look on how it looks in the in the preview to see if I liked it or not um, if I wanted to have, use another spot for example like here for example I could use it here I would want to use this part of the scene I put it here I would have motion blur on and I would just basically render it as a, as a still image with motion blur enabled and that's that's how I got my result so this is a small tutorial on how, how to do it and uh, that's basically it. If you have further questions, leave them down below. You can reach me online on Instagram or Facebook or on Keyshot's forums. Um, it's always been before Niels Pirma. And so that's basically it. That's how you can have a rotational CGI scene rotating on, uh, on a circuit pivot point. And that's basically it. So yeah. I hope this tutorial is interesting enough for you to try it out. It presumably, I hope that it w has helped you out to get to realize um, this how how this scene could be achieved. And so yeah, that's basically it. So stay tuned for another uh, small and really easy tutorial on how to do this. I learned it a couple of a uh, couple of months back on how to do it as well. I used it in a couple of s a couple of my scenes as well including the new Audi R19 uh, scene where two cars are racing 
it was it was used on the same principle and that's basically it so yeah uh, i'll see you in the next one and until then have a have a great run and try and get out yourself so i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>